It's 3.15. It's March 15th. If you're watching this at 3.15 p.m., even better. If you're watching this at 3.15 a.m., get some sleep. Watch this and then go to sleep. No, okay. <laughs> but that's what I want to be talking about today is Max Car number 315 and what exactly happened to it and where it is now and more info on the overhaul. And fair warning, this is an unscripted video so it is going to bounce all over the place. So apologies for that in advance. Okay, so TriMet made a tweet quite a while back um, when they were first starting to renovate number 315. And remember how I was like, well, I'm not really sure all of the things that they're doing. It's, it's really hard to find info on what is actually being overhauled in the vehicles. Well, TriMet made a tweet back on May 3rd, 2019, and it says, We'll get Max Car 315 back soon with a rebuilt ventilation system. So I was right on that. Oh yeah, if you haven't watched my ideas on the Max Overhaul, then a card should have appeared there. If not now, then at the beginning of the video it should have appeared. And go watch that first, because this is going to be some updates on that, and then there will be a card on the end of that video that uh, will bring you here to this video. Okay? Uh, anyway, with a rebuilt ventilation system, refreshed interiors, new paint, windows, and exterior lighting. Over the course of several years, 79 Type 2 and Type 3 cars will get the same treatment. And they have three photos. They're basically photos of before the renovations. And it was actually while they were starting to... No, that didn't do anything. While they were starting to take place. It's a little... Eh. Well, anyway, yeah. And you get to see how 315 looked before. Now... I want to remind you of something that I said on the video that I made originally of the Max Overhaul stuff, which is going to stay on this channel, but a lot of that information is being updated as you saw there. There are some updates. Well, I said something in that video. I said if there's enough interest, then I, I can actually show you that I have a video of number 315 pre-renovations and it was even before they installed the new digital signs inside and outside, which are not very new anymore. Uh, it was a video filmed, I think, sometime in 2015. And it was not meant for YouTube. I'm just kind of filming all over the place. I was talking throughout the video. So I'm... I, I, there were a couple of comments that said, yes, I do want to see it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be a nice person and I'm going to show you that video now, enough waiting, seriously I posted that video back in August, it's 315 day today, so I figure I'm going to show you a video of 315 pre-renovations. Yeah. Hillsboro?
yellow lights. And more green yellow. Oh. Three car train again. One, two. Oh, third one, that last one went in. Delmonica, Southwest 170th Avenue. Doors to my right. What does the meter check? Delmonica, Southwest 170th Avenue. Doors to my right. What does the meter check? Still had all the power on. Whoa! The sign in the front that tells you uh, where it's going, like Hillsboro, Gresham, it was just a dash. It had no color. It was just a dash. And there's nobody. Let's see what happens. We'll be extreme. Both ways when crossing tracks. Puertas a mi izquierda. Por favor. All the lights inside that bus just dim, and I recorded it. Watch him close. The doors are closing. Train to come. Please go on. Well, we'll see what the back car is. For what? We were on that. We were on that. That's why I was going to play. 124. I've never seen this one. He never, that one probably, I guess that side is never shown. Lots of times you'll see it say like Elmonica or not in service or something like where they last had it the night before. 
So, there are a couple of things I said in my overhaul video that I've been talking to when I was doing the Max Ideas video in this spot. Um, there were a couple of things there that were not confirmed on that tweet. So, I don't know if somebody was just making them up or if they really did happen and the sun just came out, which is why my face looks like it's glowing. Um, and those were new LED lights inside. So, those fluorescent lights in inside the train, I was pretty sure those were being updated with LED, just like the Type 5s and undoubtedly the Type 6s that we will be getting soon. Ish. At the end of this year. I may be talking about that later. Um, but, nowhere in there did it say new interior lighting. It did say exterior lighting, and I was like, wait a minute, what exterior lighting? But I think they mean the headlights, the cyclops, and all of those will be replaced. I'm pretty sure they make replacement LED fluorescent tubes, so instead of using a legitimate original fluorescent tube like what they've been using, you can get LED retrofits that can go in there and they're designed to work with old fluorescent ballasts, which require a whole series of operations before the light can even turn on. It's able to work with that and turn it on, but it's an LED bulb. I'm pretty sure they make those. Um, and I thought they were going to be getting those, or even just replacing the whole ballast and electrical system up in the lights in the first place to allow for LED lights. I wouldn't see why that would be too much of an issue, unless there's something I'm not seeing. Um, and another thing is interior paint. Again, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I know I've read it somewhere, but it wasn't on that tweet. The outside of the trains are being painted to look like TriMet's new buses, um, starting on the 3900s. So it will look like that, and so will our Type 6s, just side note on that as well. But wait a minute though, they never really said anything about interior paint, even though I know I've read tweets that say interior paint. And from the very limited amount of pictures that I've seen that I kind of for a while said I don't want to see these, um, those I'm pretty sure had white paint on the walls. Like Type 2s and 3s, they have this very distinctive, it almost looks like, <laughs> it almost looks like when you have a cup of coffee and you put a ton of creamer in it, that color is what the walls look like. And it's always been kind of weird to me. And I think they're repainting them to be white. So what's the story of 215 and 315? Okay. 215, I can confirm, is the second car being redone. So number 315 was the first. I'm assuming because it was the newer train, so it was going to be a little easier to do the renovations, less problems are likely to come up doing them. Numbers 315 and 215 were sent down to Sacramento as pilot cars for this overhaul. They were like test pilots. And 315 was, like I said, the first to be done. And it was delivered in early January 2020. Number 215 was supposed to be done that year and was supposed to be around that same time. So I would have expected January 2021. It is now March 2021 and we've heard nothing. Absolutely nothing. Unless between the time I'm recording this, which is actually March 9th, and the time it goes up in just a few days on the 15th, we hear from it, then I'll insert an update in here saying we have it now, but... Yeah, for now, 215 is still in California, still being overhauled. My guess as to what happened was, well, 2020 was quite a year, so there were probably some delays with that. Then there was the great West Coast wildfires. I mean, this was Sacramento we're talking about. They're right in the middle of all that, so they probably stopped working for several times. Other weather-related and other issues may have come up. Um, and the biggest thing that I think affected 215, aside from all of that, is the fact that 315 encountered defects. TriMet received number 315 again in January. Then you notice it took all the way until July before they even posted tweets about it. Well, 
every train, regardless of whether it's been overhauled or whether it's a new train or whatever, every train has to go through what's called acceptance testing or burn-in testing. I'm probably going to talk about all of that burn-in testing, acceptance testing in way more detail on my main Max 101 series at a later date, maybe. Just the same as when you buy a new pair of shoes, you can't just like buy shoes and then that's it. You have to break them in, you have to walk around a little bit, you have to get used to them, you have to see whether or not it's going to work for you or not. It's the same with Max cars. So some of the vehicle, well all of the vehicles that TriMet's getting, including these overhauled ones, such as number 315, went through burn-in and acceptance testing. And that's why there are videos of number 315 on the system, but out of service. TriMet has a picture on their website, this is really, this is, sorry, this video is getting really rambly, but there's a picture on TriMet's website, at least as of the time of recording this, where they are hiring their new general manager, and oh, what's that? That's number 315. And if you look closely, this is starting to sound like a conspiracy theory video, doesn't it? Do you see what those are on the doors? The face covering stickers and signs, meaning they either were planning on running this train in service to tell passengers, you know, wear a mask, stay six feet apart. That's when it was still six feet apart. Um, yeah. I believe that, I mean, that train is super empty. I think it's completely empty. So I think it was still out of service, but I think at least for a couple of days, that train was actually in service. So what happened? Where has 315 been? Well, it has been out of service. They encountered defects, and it's been sitting in the yard. Recent, recent activity has started for inspection of various things. Um, so they are actively working on getting it running again. So hopefully soon we can see 315 back out. I will do another update video, as I said, um, and the card will appear here now if you want to see it, on number 315 when I finally get a chance to film it. Now, I, again, I have no idea when two things will happen but hopefully we'll get to see these overhauled vehicles soon. Number one, I do not know when 315 will be fully done and fully ready for passenger service. Number two, I do not know when number 215 will be delivered. But let's hope soon, because I want to see these just as much as every other person who knows about this overhaul stuff. We all want to see what they look like. We all want to see what the future generations, how a Type 2 and 3 would look if it were built in 2021. So, I think that's all the info that I have for you. If not, then there will be this really awkward jump cut with additional information. But for now, that is going to be it, and check back for future updates.